Good day and welcome to Inuvik, Northwest Territories. It is the end of March and it is a balmy minus 20. Temperatures from minus 20 through to minus 40 this time of year is not uncommon. This previous week we had temperatures in the minus 30s. Inuvik is known as the land of the midnight sun. It has over two months of straight sunlight in the summertime and over one month of complete darkness in December. It is difficult to build in these type of environment however that is not our largest challenge. There is what is called a layer here of active layer soil which means that every year it freezes in the winter and thaws out in the summer creating this unstable layer for which regular foundations will simply not work. We're going to look through what, uh, how the buildings are being done up here in the far north. In Anubic, you will not find any concrete foundations. The soil at grade level is completely unstable. Therefore, they must go past the active 3 meter layer and get down into the permafrost ground. All of the buildings here are built with steel or wood piles, steel mostly in commercial and industrial construction. The piles themselves generally go from 13 to 18 meters past the active layer and generally are cut off approximately one meter above grade to allow for ventilation under the building. The heat transfer from the building to the active layer causes a lot of problems. This is a job site in its infancy with the piles already placed ready to be cut off at uh, the set elevation. Let's take a look at some of the current projects going on today. Right now we'll be looking at a multi residential unit. Notice all the insulation and the steel piles that are cut off at the correct elevation. In this particular case, the crawl space here appears to be around two meters. The underside of the soffit is also insulated. Here we have the new school in Anuvik under construction. Let's take a look underneath and take a look at a, these piles close up. Here we are under the superstructure of the building. In this particular building there are close to 500 piles. Notice the same type of construction used for mezzanine floors in the lower mainland. HSS posts supporting H-beams, which support Wilson joists, and a Q-deck floor on the top of that. Our crawl space here appears to be approximately a meter and a half. In this particular structure, steel is used all the way through the second and third floors. with the membrane type roofing on the top. Here we are at another project, a multi-use facility.
notice how the typical piling construction carries through. In this particular building, wood trusses are used to support the second and third floors. For a relatively small community, there's a fair amount of projects currently on the go. Drilling procedures. The holes here are being cored from 13 and a half to 15 meters. We're going right through the active layer here into the permafrost area that's below that region. On a good day, we could be pouring three to four holes per day. In this part of the operation, it's called a slurry operation, steel pile has been installed, gravel is brought and water is brought, and the two go in together to form a solid frozen base for the steel pile to sit at. Prior to this, the steel pile was wedged into proper location by use of uh, large wooden wedges that, and having a transit on one side and a string line on the other. A critical part of the slurry operation is the water and the three-quarter crush mixing together to make the frozen slurry. This is not always easy in minus 30 to 40 degree temperatures. Here we notice the slurry operation still in progress. They will add gravel and then water intermittently. Let's take a look at some of the completed structures. The church in the foreground is the local church that was built in 1958 at a cost of approximately $70,000. Here's the Mackenzie Hotel. Notice the main floor elevation and the crawl space underneath. The multi-use building is in the background. Whatever can be imagined can be built. A certain degree of effort is required in the north is not for the faint of heart. This is the current Sir Mac Alexander Mackenzie School. The one that will be replaced by the new one. Let's recap what we went through today. We first drill a hole with an augered bit attached to a drill rig. We are going approximately 13 to 18 meters into the sub base, which is below the 3 meter active layer, which freezes and thaws in the summer months. We insert a steel pile, approximately 12 inches in diameter, to fit in a 16 inch hole pile themselves have slots in them which allow the slurry when poured in the gravel and water mix to make a firm and frozen fixture into the ground. Once the piles are in place and cut off to certain elevations the well plates are attached to the tops of the piles and the superstructure takes off from there. It may not be 
easy to build in the north, but it can be done. Thank you.